name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to use hollow rivets in our leather work. That's coming up. First thing we've got to do is just make some holes through the leather. To my knowledge, there's no finds of archery braces during the, the Dark Ages. That said, we do know of them through iconography. So uh, we, we simply don't know how they were tied onto the garments uh, or secured to the garments. So my, and, and a lot of reenactors simply use a, a system like this. It's just preferable to them and that's okay. Uh, so when we're using a, a hollow rivet such as this, I prefer to preset the holes like I've just done. You then use a die and cast like this, which you usually get in a set with the, re, uh, the washer going on the bottom. That then goes through the leather. The top of the rivet goes in like so. What I then do is put the dying on top and just slowly tuck that through the leather. Once I'm satisfied I've got it roughly in position. Then I'll give it a, a, a bit more force. Right, there we go, nice flush rivet. It's important to make sure, obviously, you're going to get one that's going to suit the, um, the application. In other words, make sure it's thick enough for the leather that you're trying to get through. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.